Hey, welcome back to the channel. We'll be covering the MotoGP race that was held in Spain, the Spanish Grand Prix, which is held in Jerez, Spain. Last week, big week in attendance of 164,000 people in attendance on this sunny day. As we're about to begin, Jack Miller's KTM gets off to a great start with Brad Binder's KTM also getting off to a great start, but we don't even get out of the first lap. We already have a problem. Fabio Quattuaro gets into it with Miguel Oliveira. I feel it was a racing incident, but they actually give Fabio Quattuaro a penalty. Both riders were injured to the point that the race was stopped. Miguel Oliveira actually had to get carted off to the medical center. He had a dislocated shoulder. Fabio Quattuaro had some pain in his leg, but he was able to continue his race. The race at this point was red flag. This red flag went on for maybe about 20 minutes, half hour. The teams got to reorganize before they went back out. The race has now been shortened to 24 laps. And as we're about to begin the restart, Alicia Spargo is back on pole. Both KTMs of Brad Binder and Jack Miller totally take out Alicia Spargo and leave him in the dust. On the first lap, Alex Rins crashes out but rejoins the race, but also Johan Mir crashes out. This is, Johan Mir has been crashing every race this year that so far. Jack Miller held the lead for these first few laps, but Brad Binder was able to take back the lead by lap five. The KTMs this year, they definitely have the power with the experience of Jack Miller and Brad Binder. Who knows, they might be able to challenge the Ducatis. Around lap five, we had another incident. Peko Bagnaya got too close into the turn into Jack Miller, and he tried to apologize to Jack Miller, but Jack Miller didn't want to hear it. Jack Miller gave him the famous one finger salute. Another incident that happened around this time is Fabio Quattuaro was serving his long lap penalty, but he served it incorrectly. He actually went on the white line, but we feel he shouldn't even have served this penalty because the crash with Miguel Oliveira was fully a racing incident. So yes, he did go off the line, as you can see here, but he shouldn't even have got the penalty in the first place. So he had to redo the long lap penalty. We're actually going to do another video on this because we feel the stewards really messed up and they really messed up Fabio Quattuaro's race. At the midway point in the race, the top five were Brad Binder, Jack Miller, Francesco Bagnaia, George Martin, and Aleix Espargo. And to get us to being a top five channel, please like and subscribe. We're trying to get the subscribers up. Please like and subscribe. As of lap 17, we started to have a few more crashes. Johan Zarco, Mr. Consistency, crashes out on turn five. And also Marco Basecchi crashes out on the same lap. I think people's tires were starting to go. The race was almost over. Both riders weren't seriously hurt, but they weren't able to continue. This was pretty late in the race. There's only a few more laps left. At this point in the race, Francesco Bagnaia starts to make the late charge because he wants first place, he wants maximum points. It's like there's blood in the water and he is the shark. He's chasing down Brad Binder for first place. Peko Bagnaia is chasing Brad Binder and he's almost able to complete his move. And by lap 21, he completes his move with the Ducati. The KTM's got the power this year, so the Ducati actually had to work. As the race is about to end, we have a strange incident. Maverick Vinales actually loses his bike chain and he has to pull over. This is right before the race is about to end. And in the end, Francesco Bagnaia comes home to the win at the Spanish Grand Prix. The results, Francesco Bagnaia was in first, Brad Binder was in second, and Jack Miller was in third. Top five for the race included George Martin and Aleix Espargo. So congratulations to the Ducati. This is a race, another win for Francesco Bagnaia. A few weeks ago, he had a few drops and now he seems to have got it together. The KTMs in second and third have nothing to be ashamed of. They've really improved this year, the KTM Red Bull team. Gotta watch the KTMs this year, they could surprise people. Also, legend Valentino Rossi was at the race, enjoying the Spanish Grand Prix. Congrats to Francesco Bagnaia and the Ducati team. Also, Danny Pedrosa was riding for KTM this week. Some race notes. Alicia Spargo came fifth on his Aprilia, and the other Aprilia of Raul Fernandez came 15th. We had six DNFs for the race. Honestly, Fabio Quattroaro should not have gotten a penalty for the long lap penalty, which then he had to redo. It was a racing incident with Miguel Oliveira. I don't know if they wanted him to fly off the bike. He fell off, and he fell into Miguel Oliveira. It's not like Marquez who dive bombed a few weeks ago into Miguel Oliveira. So more racing videos will be coming on the channel. Congrats to the Ducati team and Francesco Bagnaia. We'll be doing an IndyCar video. Also, we have a Miami race for Formula One coming up. MotoGP will be at the French Grand Prix in two weeks. So we'll be recovering that. I hope you enjoyed this racing video and more racing videos will be coming to the channel. Please like and subscribe. Red Bet signing off.